So until next time, happy eating. No, 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 no. no? <laughs> he took my line. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Get ready for something old, something new, hakao, siu mai, gobi, kaguyu. Mm. <laughs> We're just about to start our next city gourmet pleasures food trail. This time, we'll be checking out some new Chinese restaurants that's just been added to the City Gourmet Pleasures list of restaurants. And they're all located conveniently in shopping centres and you probably are familiar with some of them. First, we'll be checking out a grilled fish restaurant, then to try out some creative Hainanese dishes. Then we have a date with a duck and finish off with some dim sum. So bring along your city card and let's go! So we're here at this restaurant called Tan Yu. This brand was started in Shenzhen in 2013 and mm -hmm. they grew like wildfire. Oh, I hear that now they have like over 300 restaurants in China already. Mm -hmm. And here in Singapore, they have like five restaurants. And we're here at the Tampanese One outlet, which is I think the biggest outlet that they have. You can see, yeah. oh, it's pretty big here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so the first thing that you might want to try here is this cold dish, all right? It's a spicy clams. It's kind of like an interesting start to the... Oh, the spiciness already stuck already. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's like, let's get going, man, with the spicy sauce. <laughs> this is the, oh, looks so look cute. like lychee, right? It is a lychee shrimp ball. When you bite into it, right, really look like lychee, you know? Nice, it's very nice. Mm. I'm Quite looking nice. at the fish because it's bubbling away. This is the thing that you come here for yeah. this grilled fish. Yeah, this is Ooh. the one that you know, rocketed them into popularity. La. So you can see all the green chilli and then you got the Sichuan pe green peppers mm. up there and then you got this fish which they grill first in a very special machine. Oh, okay. And then uh, and then after that, they put it on the this plate and then they make the sauce fresh. Mm. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is it ma already? <laughs> the pepper is has hit, my, hit me already. Okay. Oh, wow. The fish is very succulent and very... Tender, my goodness. Mm. Oh. I can see why people like it so much. Eh? Okay, so aside from the fish, yep. we've got all these skewers. La. You know, mm. this is the Chinese style uh, chuan. skewers. Chuan. <laughs> you got a usual cumin, chilli mm. kind of flavour. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely come here for the fish. Yeah. And then if you want something uh, meaty and grilled, you can, you can go for that. Mm -hmm. This is the rice cake dish. Yeah. Okay, and then this is uh, brown sugar at the top. Eh? Then you got uh, black sesame. And you got uh, glutinous rice. Remind me of the Nian Gao. Ah. Yeah. Huh? Mm. This is nice. How true, how true. So, the City Gourmet Pleasures offer here is that you get one for one of any of these barbecue skewers. So, if you buy one of these, you get one of these, but you get the lower value, of course, la, the one for one offer, alright? So, make sure you do this before the 31st of July, mm. okay? Okay, so where to next? Next, we're gonna try some creative local dishes. You know, dear, we've been following the Hainan story since its introduction at Hillian Mall. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they opened Chapter 1 at the Boss Hotel yep. and Chapter 2 at The Jewel. That's right. And now they got this brand new eatery at Nex. Guess what it's called? Uh, chapter 3? Nope. <laughs> it's called the Hainan story Coffee House. Coffee House? Why? Let's go find out what's the story. You mean the Hainan story? <laughs> The last few concept was more like a mini food court. This one is just everything in one kitchen. One coffee house. One coffee house. We're going to try... The new improved pork chop. <laughs> so this is a new addition that they've added here. It's an 8-inch cheesy sausage that the boss said he spent a lot of time trying to yeah. sauce for it. It's uh, supposed to be smoky, cheesy, actually quite tasty. Okay, but the main thing here is to try the pork chop. Pork chop. The crust is um, much more crispy. Pork could be a little bit more juicy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's the traditional stuff. Now, on now to we the... got a modern <laughs> rice cake lasagna. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see something I like. What is that? Eggplant. Nah. This okay, eggplant okay, okay. thing I so like. It's got eggplant, <laughs> it's got tomato sauce, and, and it's sui kueh. Sui kueh. <laughs> this is not bad, no? The cheese and the tomato is a winner, lah. It's a good combination. Okay, this is the Ama Chi Xiong Pan. 
not ama. Amai. Ama is just the Hainanese way of saying ama, right? No. no. <laughs> you don't go in court. Ama and ama should kill you. What's okay? the difference between ama and ama? Ama is grandmother. Ama okay. is auntie. Interesting looking sauce. Yeah, interesting sauce. Some chee chong fat, and then it's got some wonton here, fried wonton. Okay. Okay. I put my finger on it. Quite, quite tasty, lah. Almost feels like a satay sauce, but it's not meant to be a satay sauce. It's basically like a, like a mie rebus kind of sauce. Mie rebus, that's yeah. right. You got it. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like mie rebus. Yeah. Before there was the Belgian waffle and all the very, very expensive waffles. Mm -hmm. There was the Singapore style waffle. Okay, the thing about this waffle that I like is the pandan batter, right? So the fact that it's a pandan batter alone is already very good for me. If you all like the traditional Singaporean style waffle, yeah. this is a place to have it and it's very affordable. It's only two something. Yeah. You get a waffle, get a cup of tea. Yeah. So the City Gourmet Pleasure special here is that you get a $5 return voucher when you spend a minimum of $20. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you can use that $5 return voucher the next time when you spend a minimum of $50. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're off to the next place. Are you ready? Ready for? We got a date with a duck. Okay. Quack, quack, quack. Uh, dear. Yeah? Uh, I got a confession to make. What? I've never been to Tian Xiao E before. <sighs> Tian Xiao E has been yeah. around everywhere. I mean, you've never been here before. You've been around for 21 years. I've never ever stepped in to try their food before. <sighs> you, Ne? Um. <laughs> I also never been yeah, before. See? <laughs> but everybody knows there's a Tian Xiao E, right? Yeah, I mean Probably it's hard to miss it. it, right? Because yeah. it's there everywhere. <laughs> but I never really walked in because I never knew, understood what kind of food mm. they actually serve. I know they got a herbal duck. Yes. And actually, uh, we just found out. Okay. Uh, the owner used to be from Malaysia. Uh -huh. So a lot of the uh, dishes are Singapore-Malaysian kind oh. of flavours. Okay. The duck is uh, very special because it's a uh, herbal duck. Wow, the tang kui is quite. Uh, can really smell the tang kui. <laughs> the duck is nice and tender, mm -hmm. succulent, mm. and then that the sauce actually gives it a sweetness, mm. and the tang kui flavor is there la. The first thing that hit me is the tang kui, mm. and I was like, uh, not so sure. But then later on, the sauce. Yeah, I agree with you. The sweetness does come in, and then it's overall quite a nice mouthfeel mm. inside. Mm. And it's surprisingly um, quite juicy, huh? <laughs> I understand that just now when they were chopping, like a lot of juices were like coming out, right? <laughs> okay, first look at this char siu already makes me salivate. I was like, okay, this is looking very, very good. Almost like eating candy, right? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that. So nice. Okay, that means... It's Iberico. Oh, Iberico pork. Ah. Wow. This is good. Very nice. Curry fish is quite... A favourite, right? Mm. Okay, I must say that when this dish came right, and when I smelled it, it was like, wow, smells good already. Yeah, so she is like, like a Nonia style curry fish head. Okay, uh, I like... Curry fish head, but this is actually fish tail. Ho, 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 ho. This one approve, I approve. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it's rich, it's got flavour, it's got enough tang. Because curry is already very rich, so it needs to be a little bit tangy. La. Yeah, so um, I like it. I like the balance of this. Very good. Now this particular dish is twenty five thirty, and it gives mm. you like a quite a good portion of. I think this is sea bass, right? Snapper. Oh, this snapper. This oh, okay. Mm. okay. For fish head lovers, you probably prefer mm. the head nah, and not the tail. But you know, some people gotta eat the tail. <laughs> I, I I'm okay. okay. Let's try the last one. Oh yes, this one is the sizzling hot plate uh, sambal prawn. Petai, uh, typically uh, you know you find in the. At the nasi padang stalls. Ah, uh. okay. Yeah, but this is very local, uh, very local. This yeah. one also good. Nice, okay. <laughs> Will you come back? I'll definitely come back. I, mean, I quite like the tasu and uh, I think all these dishes are pretty good. Yeah. Mm. And talking about coming back, there is a return voucher, alright? So, the, the City Gourmet Pleasures offer here is that you get a $10 return voucher with any spend, okay? So, there's no minimum spend. You can just come in, you, you pay with your city card, then yep. you get your $10 return voucher. Even if I spend $10? <laughs> yes. I, get, I spend $10, I get $10 voucher, means I eat for free. 
Well, the main thing is that you need to come back with that return voucher. Okay. And, but there's a minimum spend on that return voucher. Uh -huh. You need to spend a minimum of $80. So it's okay. actually a little bit more than 10% discount on no, your no, next bad. visit. Yeah. Not bad, not mm. bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, highly recommend. So where are we off to next? Next, we are going to... Uh, actually, I, uh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> where are we going next? <laughs> I was just yeah. testing him. <laughs> where are you going? Next, we're going to have some lovely Hong Kong dim sum. I still remember when Team Ho Wan first came to Singapore mm. many years ago. Uh, they were at Plaza Singh and there was a super long queue. It was so difficult to get a seat. Yeah, it's so a good thing that they now have like 12 outlets in Singapore. Mm. So it's a lot easier to get a seat these days. Yeah, but I'm sure everybody's been to Team Ho Wan already, right? For those of you who've never been here before, the thing to order when you come here is this thing. Yes, this is the mm. barbecue pork bun. Yes. Okay. Okay. I have to say that I actually come to Timbo One just to eat this one. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yes, yum. Okay. This, this part is so nice. Huh? I wonder why there are not more copycats. It must be very difficult to make, lah. otherwise, there'll be more copycats, right? Funny, man. I mean, I saw their video, they just pipe it on top, and then uh, when they bake it, it will just flow down. Lah. I guess not so simple, lah, mm. but it's quite nice. It's still very nice. Mm. Of course, they have their usual Hang Kao Siu Mai. The quality has been quite consistent this yeah. last few years. So these are the new dishes, right? I mean, I must admit that we've never tried these ones before. I mean, normally, we come, we'll have the usual mm. stuff. La. They're not typically classic dim sum dishes. Ah, either. okay. Tim Ho Wan is uh, uh, special because it is a dim sum restaurant with other dishes mm. rather than a Chinese restaurant with dim sum. So this is the wok fried radish cake with shrimp. Chai tau kui la. <laughs> okay, since it's wok fried, uh, my smell got wok hay, you know. Not bad. Got a bit of walking. Mm. Huh. Basically, uh, you know, dim sum, the reddish cake, mm -hmm. you always only get the reddish cake by itself. The steam one. The steam one. Mm -hmm. So they use the same reddish cake and then they fry it extra, you know, with the oh. eggs and the gu chai and the, and the prawns and a bit of bean sprouts. And that actually adds a lot of flavour to it. Yeah, this is pretty good. So yeah. I will definitely order this the next time mm. I come again. Now it's a Hong Yu Chao So. Mm. Why is it called Chao So? Ah? It's like what? Like hen? No. <laughs> Actually, my Chinese very bad. Ah. My Chinese gave back to my A level teacher. Really. Actually, the last video, right? We also had this same question. <laughs> yeah, Chao So. Chao if so. y'all know the answer, please let us know. Why yeah. is it called Chao So? I think it's something to do with the Chinese words. Ah, you know, it's oh, Chao okay, So. Okay. You know? Not bad. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. I think the. I like the feeling. The feeling is very tasty. Mm, the Hong Yu. Okay, I've tasted better Hong Yu. Uh. This one is not, not enough ma. I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be ma. The City Gourmet Pleasures offer here is that you get a $5 return voucher with any City card. Mm. Alright, and then with that $5 return voucher, you can come back and use it with a minimum of $55 spent. <sighs> we mm. come to the end of another food trail. Yeah. Thanks for watching and we hope we've given you some ideas of where to go for your next meal. And don't forget to bring along your city card to enjoy more discounts on your dining adventures with City Gourmet Pleasures. Until next time, happy eating. And bye for now. <laughs>